I am done applying to college. Hooray, hurrah, I know where I'm going. You don't know where I'm going yet, unless you follow me on Instagram, in which case you do, don't go cheat. All right, so today, after many, well, not many, I guess I'm, I posted two videos in February. I'm sorry, guys, I promise I'll be more consistent this summer. Um, after quite a while of silence, uh, we're gonna jump back into the YouTube swing of things with, um, me telling you where I'm going to college. Now, I have actually been sitting in this position with my computer open for probably an hour and a half filming a video all about how I apply, like the actual application process for colleges, um, portfolios for film school, tips and tricks, essay advice, things like that. It was really discombobulated and long, so I'm gonna hold off on posting all of that. Um, if you're interested in my takes on that, let me know and I will put it out. If not, no worries. There are a lot of videos like that on the internet, um, but if you'd be interested in my two cents, do tell and I will sort through all the footage I filmed the, and try and make something coherent and cohesive. I'd like to preface with talking briefly about my experience with um, college videos and admission videos on YouTube. It tends to be pretty negative, um, very dramatized. That's okay, like that. It's that's just how it is. Um, the college, industry it is a bit of an industry specifically in that the united states has become massive and there's so much prestige associated with schools and so much importance placed on the name of the school you're going to then i think a lot of the time the actual purpose of school which is hopefully uh, to be a stepping stone in your life to whatever you want to do next whether that's social personal academic development um, it usually becomes the main focus instead of that idea of a bridge. And it is very exciting, you know? It's your first leap out of high school. Oftentimes it's validation for all the work you've put in, but I think it can be damaging too. Both can be true. Um, so I decided pretty early on, I did not want to do that. Um, just wasn't something I was interested in making. However, I did want to update you because um, I chronicle my life on YouTube a bit and um, it seems strange not to keep you in the loop. So. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Maya, my pronouns are she, they, and I applied to film school. Um, my dream is to be a film editor, director, in that order. It's usually director, editor, but I just, I love editing, you guys, and I can't wait to learn new softwares in college. Um, as of now, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, and I've made a couple short films, a documentary, and have a YouTube channel. Duh. <laughs> the schools I applied to for college, I knew from the onset a lot of them would be out of reach for me financially. Um, so I applied to USC. NYU, Emerson College in Boston, UCLA, Columbia College, Chicago, DePaul, also in Chicago, Chapman University, Loyola Marymount University, and CU Denver for film production. Um, where BFAs were available, I applied for the BFA. If BFAs were not available, I applied for the BA or BS. I knew going in that a lot of these schools just weren't going to be options, even if I got in with finances. Um, I exist kind of in the middle socioeconomic bracket for colleges, where my parents have saved quite a bit for me, which I'm incredibly grateful for. I also don't apply to most financial aid that's need-based, um, but I don't have enough money to afford all of college for schools like USC and NYU, which are just as astronomically expensive. $88,000 a year is how much it would cost for me to go to NYU. Where I am financially in terms of college is a good place to be, and I'm incredibly grateful for it, but it does mean that some of these schools just weren't gonna happen, and that's okay. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll start with the smaller ones. So we'll start with DePaul in Chicago. DePaul is a pretty good school. I think it's it oscillates in and out of the top 20 film schools in the US. And it is where Karsten Runquist went, who's a YouTuber I really enjoy and a podcaster. Uh, and that's how I learned about it. And so I applied there. It was very much so a safety school for me, as was CU Boulder. I live in Colorado, another safety school. CU's program is also pretty good. Um, however, your first two years of 
school for film are not production based. They're heavily media studies focused, which is super cool. It's just not what I want to do. Next, I applied to Columbia College Chicago, which is the first place I heard back from. Um, and that was also a safety school for me. Chicago is kind of a blooming film city, as is Atlanta. And so those two were ones I was interested in being in. On the other hand, Boston is like not, like not much happens that I know of in Boston for the film industry. Um, Emerson is located there. I applied there. It's a good school. Uh, it's very homogenous. And um, I was kind of disappointed by, this is very specific, but by their like language opportunities. I would love to minor or at least continue on in Spanish. And they, they don't have Spanish levels above like Spanish two, which I did freshman year of high school. And so that was discouraging to me, but the film program's fantastic, so I did apply. So I did get into all four of those schools, DePaul, Columbia College, Chicago, CU, and Emerson, with like relatively good scholarships, with the exception of CU. I am an in-state student, and so those are often minimal. All right, now moving into the LA, New York schools. That's where I knew I wanted to be location-wise. Um, Emerson does have like a semester in LA program. I just felt like that wasn't enough because I, I also want to be applying to internships um, auditioning maybe even throughout my time in college. So I applied to Loyola Marymount and these are some some of these schools I have visited. So I'll give you my thoughts on like what I thought when I was there. Um, Loyola's campus was nice. Campus doesn't really matter to me and it hasn't since the beginning. Um, I don't really care what it looks like. However, I didn't like Loyola's campus as much as I liked other campuses I visited. Um, it was a little bit older, but also in a good part of the town. I had a beautiful view pretty close to the beach. Everyone seemed happy to be there. Um, a cool memory for me was the Filipino club was serving food the day that I went. And so I got to try all of the foods and they were delicious. LMU does have some really great equity programs. Um, it is though a Catholic school, it is a Jesuit school. I am very much so an atheist. And so I, it, at first it didn't bother me so much like when I was researching online, um, but I just feel like there's so much like cognitive dissonance between the history of Jesuit missionaries and equity work. And I just knew that that would probably just bother me. It's not a huge factor to consider, but it's something that was in my mind. I did though quite like LMU. They have a great film program. I also visited UCLA. I did not get a tour of UCLA, like a guided tour, but I did walk around it with my family. Something I noticed right away um, is that it's incredibly hilly which is not an issue usually, but I'm getting knee surgery at the like end of April. Um, and then I'm gonna have to get surgery on my other knee relatively soon at the latest the following summer. And so it, there's a potential that I will not be at my full walking capacity when I go into my freshman year of college. And so that was something to keep in mind. Other than being really hilly, I have no complaints about UCLA. Gorgeous, uh, very diverse school. Um, architecture is stunning. The bookshop was incredible. My grandma went there for three years. She did drop out of college, but um, it was fun listening to her stories and what she remembered seeing compared to like what I was seeing now with updates and innovations and stuff. Uh, something to know, UCLA's program is tiny. It is minuscule. And if you do not get an interview, you pretty much aren't in, like you do not get in the program. Um, I think that it's like 15 people in the production program and maybe 15 in writing. So 30 total, something like that. Uh, very small class. So that was another thing to consider is class size when entering college. In LA, I also visited Chapman University in Orange, California. I loved it. Um, it you know what it reminded me? It reminded me of Stars Hollow in California, like Palm Trees, Stars Hollow, especially the Old Town Orange area, which is just outside of Chapman. It is definitely a smaller school. I know that it's smaller than most high schools in like LA, but it's bigger than my high school, so that's cool. And um, it was very pretty. It is less diverse than UCLA and like USC, probably Loyola as well, but it was a beautiful school. Um, great film program. They're doing a lot in terms of diversifying their staff, which I think is really cool. The Duffer Brothers went there. Pretty neat. Liked it quite a bit. And then the last school I visited and applied to in LA was USC, the mecca of film. <laughs> so USC, it's the number one film school in the world. Um, they have about a 1.5% acceptance rate for the film production program itself. 
and that's a pretty tiny percentage. So I wasn't very confident going in, um, but I thought I'd give it a shot. I loved USC. It's very much so outside of my comfort zone. I'm a relatively introverted person and the campus is massive. The number of people is massive. I remember the admissions counselor came to my school like to give a presentation on USC and she like casually was like, yeah, it's about the size of Disneyland, so not too big. And I was like, what? That's massive. That's another cool thing about Chapman, right next to Disneyland. Um, USC is in more downtown LA, uh, so more direct industry access as of now, although what, based on what I've read, things are shifting like north and east a little bit as LA gets a little cramped, uh, a little <laughs> extremely. So in terms of internship access and location, that's pretty prime. Um, there's less to do like directly around the campus, but a lot to do if you're willing to drive. Um, there's a lift service, which is really cool. It's just a gorgeous school, incredible program. Like, TUSC, man. TUSC. Then outside of LA, the last school I applied to is NYU. Um, I love New York. I think, I hope that's where I end up. Um, that's kind of always been my hope. NYU, I did not visit. Um, I do know that it is not a centralized campus. It's much more buildings across the city. I don't think they have very many dorms. The school spirit's definitely less. It's less of a conventional college experience, but it's NYU. It's like the home of independent filmmaking. Emerson is also really good for independent filmmaking based on what I've read. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just a fantastic school. Scorsese went there like. Okay, so in terms of acceptances and rejections for these guys, which are the bigger players in the game, although I think Emerson's above LMU, I could be wrong. Me, darling. I was rejected from UCLA, which was no surprise. I was accepted into Loyola, Marymount, uh, Chapman, NYU, and USC, which I was fully anticipating a rejection from USC. I thought I maybe had an okay chance at NYU. My profile kind of fits an NYU student pretty well, um, but I was just over the moon. Those are dream schools. Uh, I narrowed it down pretty quickly to Chapman or USC. Those were my two favorite schools that I visited. NYU is just n not even remotely a financial option, even with merit scholarship. Um, so I narrowed it down pretty, pretty quickly to Chapman or USC. Chapman, I believe, is currently ranked number four. Uh, that includes graduate programs, though, like AFI. And it... Um, surpassed UCLA this year. They're, they're growing really, really quickly. Steven Gallagher was just elected slash appointed dean position um, for Dodge College, which is the college for film. He's the Hollywood Reporter guy that everyone thinks look like Mr. Mr. Bean. Not the best interviewer, but seems like a promising um, dean. And then USC is USC. You know, it's a dream school. It's brilliant it's it's academic rec reputations over the moon the school spirit is pretty much unrivaled it's just an incredible school my dad is a little bit of a nerd and i love him to death for it but um we decided that we would do a spreadsheet with like weighted columns on important factors things like that so here's what i considered going in campus size student body not super important to me campus comfort so just uh the just like feeling right my dad described chapman as feeling very much so right i felt like usc would be more of a challenge for me um, in a good way. I think it would challenge me to push outside of um, my shyness and to really put myself out there. We talked about area around campus, proximity to industry action, which is pretty vague, but internships. Um, and then that directly correlated to internships opportunities. They're all pretty comparable here, except for size so far. Then I had academic re reputation outside of film, teaching model. This was important um, for my dad specifically. USC uses a lot of graduate students for the first two years and Chapman is solely professors. Program concentration, USC is more general, Chapman's more specialized. The time it would take me to get a BFA, this is very important to me uh, financially. I need to graduate in three years pretty much um, if I don't want to go into debt. Uh, USC gave me very minimal scholarship. Chapman gave me a very large scholarship. And so if I graduate from Chapman in three years, I will have no student debt. If I graduate from USC in three years, I'd have about 70 to $130,000 in debt for a film degree, which seems a little irre 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 irresponsible, um, just given the amount of money or the lack of money that is that I know I will be making um, right out of college. Next, I had dorm life, 
really unimportant to me. I, I, it's, I'm a bed and a bathroom. Um, ease of travel to and from Colorado. Uh, I'm not anticipating going home a lot, but LAX is a train wreck. Support for filmmaking. This was also important um, for me to consider. So what I mean by this and what my dad meant by this is the amount of money the school puts into or offers in scholarship for films that students make. USC films are almost entirely student funded. Um, they're very minimal scholarships and films can get expensive. I've figured out thus far a way to keep my productions at a zero cost or like $10. That's not gonna be the case when I'm working with other people um, and creating more professional level films. When I'm, when I'm doing everything myself, it's much more manageable, but filmmaking is super collaborative. That's what I'm excited about. It requires funds um, and location scouting. Chapman has much more scholarship opportunity in that area. Networking connections, USC obviously rivals. Technology, quality and quantity, they're pretty comparable. Extracurriculars, USC is over the moon. Chapman's okay. Diversity, equity, USC triumphs again. Um, then this is some stuff I talked about with my counselor, options for creative filmmaking versus strictly commercial. It's a hard balance, right? Because you want to make money doing what you love. You want to make money pursuing your film career path, whatever career path you're going into. But you also want room for original vision and creativity. Um, Chapman allows for a little bit more of that than USC. USC is incredibly commercial. Um, very into like the franchise game. And then this kind of plays into the support for filmmaking, but senior thesis film opportunity, USC are not guaranteed a senior thesis film, which is a little messy. Now, this is something that colleges talked about a lot on my tours, on virtual visits, things like that. Ownership of work. At the end of the day, intellectual property is super valuable and that's, that is something to consider, but you're probably not gonna make your best work in college. You're, hopefully you're like breakthrough film won't be in college. And even though you are not receiving payment or intellectual property for your material, your name is still linked to it. Although it is USC's property, Ryan Coogler's name's attached to it. Same with George Lucas, things like that. Chapman, you do own your own work, but that's not an important factor to me. I feel like that is something that sometimes the not USC schools use to vilify USC a little bit. And at the end of the day, I don't think it's the most important thing. All right, so all of those factors combined with a gut feeling. And then um, I did a bunch of like YouTube research. I watched a ton of people's videos. Jack Rule's channel was helpful. He goes to, he went to Chapman, graduated. Liam Loughran, 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 um, also valuable. Um, it's really helpful to listen to student voice and all of this and listen to why people picked certain paths. This is a fantastic decision to have. Like, of course it's stressful, but like I got into the best film school in the world and a school that is also really, really high up there that I loved. And that's a good place to be. And I'm really, really grateful for everyone who helped me get there. So with uh, all that out of the way, I picked, can you guess? Chapman. Maybe you couldn't guess, I don't know. Um, a lot of the people that I've told in my life were very surprised by that. Cause it's USC. But um, finances were a really important factor for me. And uh, I know that graduating with over $100,000 in debt with a film degree would be a mistake for me personally. Um, I also know that school is very much so what you put into it at the end of the day. And um, Chapman and USC are so comparable in terms of resources that I think that I would make out of either of them what I wanted my college experience to be. I also adored Chapman. Um, I, I just remember coming back to the hotel after visiting and just being buoyant because uh, I'd gotten soup dumplings for lunch. I'd gone antiquing. There's like, oh, I'm gonna have to be careful with that. There are a bunch of antique shops in Old Town Orange. Um, it just felt like a really homey, wholesome place. And uh, something else I discussed with my counselor is the idea of bringing about change and community. And um, USC is so entrenched in being USC. You know, it has its tradition. SCA just celebrated its 90th year. Um, it's very much set in stone. Chapman, I feel like there's a lot of room for growth. I feel like a lot of that is being led by faculty. Um, by the new dean by diversity initiatives but that there's a lot of room for students to keep pushing that growth and i'd like to be a part of that i'd like to help make systems 
that are meant to foster creativity truly that way um, and less commercialized and more focused on um, storytelling. That's what this is all about. Again, this was a fantastic decision to have to make. Um, I had an interview with USC, which I had like, S, like this, the film school, which I hadn't heard about before. Um, so I was kind of worried. I was not sure if that meant they were like on the fence or if they had questions, but I ended up having an interview with a fantastic adjunct professor in the uh, directing program at, at SCA. And she was wonderful. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll regret not being able to meet her, but hopefully just through film, I'll have the chance to meet a bunch of people and make a lot of connections and um, friends. So that is my plan. I will go, I'll be going to Chapman University in Orange County uh, for film production, film and television production with an emphasis in editing and sound design. So I'll be moving out in August. They did my housing application today. It's pretty crazy. I, I'm, I'm gonna be a real person soon. I only have 31 days of school, like actual physical high school left, which is so weird. Like, I'm so glad, like I'm so tired, but I know I'll be sad. I know I'll miss my, my people. So I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with them safely uh, in the last few days we have. Uh, that is where I'm going to college. That is a very, very brief explanation of why I picked Chapman over USC. If you're interested in a further dissection or like my actual numbers and notes and spreadsheets, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to put that out there. I think it's also important to remember you don't have to go to college, um, especially for this industry. It's something that I decided I wanted to do because I know nobody and networking is very important. I also know that I want a bachelor's degree um, and my parents want me to get a bachelor's degree. So it's the right choice for me, but um, you don't, you can, you can do this your own way too. And I think that's really, really cool. And um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. I was trying to come up with some sort of witty tie together, but I don't have one for you. Um, I miss making videos, guys, so I hope to see more of you very soon. And yeah.